crypto mining then, or crypto in general, I want to talk about crypto influences, but you, again, you're a bit of an OG in that space. Do you know what crypto mining is? No. Oh, well, I kind of have a, have a vague idea, but this is where I'm going to kind of glaze over and let you uh, let you guys well, can, do Can talking. you explain your crypto mining experience? Well, I've got two videos, Crypto for Dummies, that you should watch. That's our most viewed uh, video of say. all time. Probably will <laughs> uh, and then the other one was on crypto mining rigs. So when we sold the business, we obviously had a lump sum of money and we went to do random shit. So one of the things that we were introduced to was crypto. And we did... Buying crypto, uh, but back in them days, there weren't as many options and coins to choose from. And this was before celebrities were pumping and shilling coins. So it's almost like your choice was pretty much Bitcoin, uh, Ether, and then there's a few different other ones. So we bought that type of stuff. And then crypto mining was an option that was available. So we met this bloke <laughs> that, that said to us, why gamble and just buy a coin? what you want to do and he called it uh, uh, like a horse and a race course he goes why gamble on one horse winning the race when you could buy a crypto mining rig and own the racetrack so you always win do you look at you like that as well like yes. he's gonna kill you as yeah well? what a salesman right. man yeah and we actually genuinely considered buying 10 or 15 of these rigs to mine for coins fuck knows how it works it's long complex maths algorithm it solves these equations and you get a bit of coins some coins are easier to mine than others right fuck knows i just did what he told me to do right <laughs> so we did that he made claims that one of these machine would machines would churn out maybe 900 quids worth of crypto per month so it seemed like a no-brainer 10 grand to buy the machine we'll be making profit year two right that's what we were thinking two years into this thing it cost us more in electricity to run these fuckers than we'd actually made in crypto. <laughs> they, it, we worked out that based on what the coins were worth at that moment in time, they had made £21 per month per machine. So we got royally fucked over, really. So that was my experience of crypto mining. Yeah. Don't do it. My actual experience of buying crypto and selling crypto, I'm really boring with investing. So I just set myself a little realistic target. I'm not looking to... 10x or 100x like a 10 pound investment i put 35 grand into ether and said once this hits 50,000 pound in value i'm just gonna withdraw my funds and that's what i did so in nine weeks i made 15 grand in crypto strong that's very sensible. which is which was good for like a i didn't know what i was yeah. doing type thing but what i wasn't doing is trying to guess and go well i'm gonna buy at this price yeah, and like sell at this price i literally went i'm gonna put Thirty-five thousand pounds in. As soon as it's worth fifty thousand pounds, I'm going to withdraw my money. Is that thirty-five grand you could have you in your mind you could afford to lose though? Yes. So yeah. that was one caveat. Is <laughs> think of it as like you could potentially lose this money. I only did that because I just sold my business and I had a couple of million sat in my bank. Yeah. I wouldn't have felt confident with. I didn't believe in it enough to put a hundred grand in. I didn't yeah. believe in it enough to put a million pounds in. Now Ian sent me something quite disgusting the other week, which was. If we had invested, uh, it wasn't that. Uh, <laughs> if we had invested the money that we'd got each from the sale uh, of the business and put it into Bitcoin on that day and then sold it on the day that you sent me the thing, we'd have had twenty six million pounds sat in our bank that day. Oh. Can't think about it like that though, man, because there's, yeah. there's, there's no underlying thing. Yeah, yeah. You can't. You, you could always lose. But all that, right? I tell you what, if you talk about getting shit off people on your YouTube videos um, for just talking about food or just talking about whatever it might be, Gary V. <laughs> the number of absolute expert crypto traders that can predict what happens to crypto four years after you made a video it is YouTube. It's like, <laughs> of course, mate, if we'd held it for another three years, we could have sold it for that. But we didn't fucking know that in 2016 or 2017 yeah, or 2019. Yeah. There are so many hindsight investors on YouTube. It's unbelievable. Nice so, man. yeah, but if we'd done that with Bitcoin... We wouldn't have set up another business. We wouldn't have set up a YouTube channel. If we'd just gone, oh, this Bitcoin seems to be kicking off. We'll put the money into that, kept it for that amount of time and then sold it. We'd have been sat on 26 million pounds each. Hard and, lines. Yeah. And who in the right mind would have done that? Rather, I'm going to take all this money that I've just made. I worked my bollocks off for three years to sell yeah, the business. So this is what, but what a lot of people do, and I get asked about crypto quite a lot, especially on Facebook. I get, I get a DM saying like, what coin shall I invest in or whatever? It's like, I've only got £2,000. What coin shall I put it in? And I'm going to... And they, they're trying to make 
200 grand from two grand, but it's their only two grand or it's their last yeah. two grand. That's a dangerous position. But if I said to them, just put 20 pound in that coin and so I was, well, I'm only going to get 68 quid back, but you've tripled your money, yeah. nearly yeah. quadrupled your money, but that's not enough. So it's almost like to play like that, you're either gambling on an absolute unicorn with your life savings, which seems to be the majority of people fall in that group, or it's absolute wealthy people that can go, I'm going to put 5 million into this. The price is going to go up. So it, it, it's now worth 6 million, 7 million. They pull their money out and everybody else that jumped in and it gets fucked over potentially. It's gambling. It's proper terrifying. It's basically gambling. Yeah. And that, that's all it is to me. Yeah. So talking about influencer, crypto influencers. So you've got... Um, well, they're the worst for that, by the way. Pumping and dumping. Yeah. I, I was looking online and... Uh, <laughs> I just thought like, that's a good... I want to get on a t-shirt, but not about crypto. Pump and dump. Pump and, and dump. Iron, that's what they call it. The rest. Oh, pump <laughs> I don't and, know why I thought that. Pump and dump is what they call like, one night stands in Scotland, I think. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah, pump and dump. I like that. Do the accent. You do a really good Scottish one. I you? cannot do a Scottish accent. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you can do You might be able to do it. You're pretty I don't good. Know. You do, you, oh, Conor McGregor was good, by the way. Yeah, that was, it wasn't bad, though, was it? I've been yeah. cultivating that, though, for Which a little bit. Conor McGregor, when I said that. You're always... Wait, let's see if I can do it again. What did I say? Red panty night. Red panty night. Your wife is in me DMs. Yeah, that's quite good. That's you know what I think. can do South African like like that. No, I can't. You can hold conversations. That. Yeah, you can. The video actually going up on Sundays with the uh, waitress I'm speaking to is South African. I thought oh, this would be a good bit of banter just to take the piss a little bit. She, I don't think she enjoyed it. No, but she gave me a six out of Weird ten. That, innit? I wanted a ten out of ten for the get, for the accent, not for getting the else. piss taken out of you at work, and she didn't like it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I, was, I, was, I was doing it quite lightheartedly. I thought, yeah. but anyway. Yeah, so we've got two influencers, two equally impressive boxers. You've got Tyson Fury and Jake Paul. Yeah. That oh, they're definitely on the same level, yeah. Same level. Recently been pumping... Uh, hey, credit, I'll just say one thing on uh, Jake Paul. Uh, he's lived the life as a boxer for two, three years, so I reckon he would actually do all right against some low-level journeyman boxers, like proper boxers. It's just a shame he doesn't actually fight them, people. Yeah. You can't knock him. Obviously, he fights people that aren't boxers, but he's lived in the gym for two, three years now. Yeah, they've both put, put a shift in. And the supplemented in a certain way. Don't get me started on juice, but his, his body <laughs> composition's changed a lot in that time. And his brother's uh, he recently spoke to Dana White, uh, Jake Paul, and Logan Paul, um, yeah. about doing MMA. Yeah. So that might be something you see one day, which I don't know if you want to see it or not, but not really. spoke yeah. about with Danny, like Danny on it, uh, about if you've got the influence, you can get the, the paydays in, well, in, in but, the sport. But anything's like that now. That's why being known, having an audience an engaged audience, whether it be a YouTube channel, social media accounts with lots of followers, that opens up so many doors for people. If Even say if it's in football now, if you've got two 18-year-olds that are at similar standards and you're sort of like a semi-pro club or a bottom of the, like low-level club, are you going to take the 18-year-old that nobody knows? Are you going to take the 18-year-old that might have 100,000 followers on Instagram? Yeah. You're probably going to take him because commercially it makes more sense. Absolutely. So I get it. It's, it's a shit world we live in that that's actually taken into account, but... You can't whinge about the game, can you? Well, speaking of shit houses, Jake Paul as <laughs> uh, mate, you've got a blue belt. He could definitely take you hundred percent. Jake nah. Paul, do you reckon you nah. can box Jake Get Paul? Get the fuck I out! I would Not never boxing. I think that Josh should tie him up. I wouldn't just to get him on the ground. I wouldn't want to strike. You reckon him. you could have Jake Paul legit? And I hope this goes out. And I hope this is a real and all Jake Paul fans see this. I don't know. I mean, like, if it came out, like, I think if I could, if I could dodge a punch and grab hold of him, I think it's fair game. I reckon. Dodge a punch. He's not fucking Mike Tyson. For God's sake, just no, get the fuck oh, out of the way and get on, on the ground. Right, let me just get this right. So he knocked out Tyron Woodley, right? Yeah. And I would say Tyron Woodley's probably better at grappling and MMA. Oh yeah, he's, he's a black belt. He's a black belt in jiu-jitsu, Yeah. So, so all right then, do you think you could beat Tyron Woodley? No, but that's what that was a boxing match. It was literally a stand. If if right, if, right, Ty, right. if Jake Paul had gone into the ring with Tyron Woodley, so you reckon in. An MMA fight, you could beat Jake Paul, hundred percent. Has Jake Paul been yeah. paying you for like? Is this like an influence? No, no, I'm just, I'm just Jake asking. Paul's been paying you to say that. You, I, I think yeah. that if Jake Paul stepped in with even some of the featherweights, he'd get his ass under to him. Uh, MMA, MMA, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's not. Do you reckon there's anyone in MMA that could beat him at boxing? Yes, different weight class, but like Tom Aspinall, who's like the yeah, current yeah. heavyweight fighter. Yeah, he yeah. used to he did boxing with Tyson Fury. He was one of his training partners. Oh, there's it? some mint boxers in MMA. Yeah. Um, that's why Danny Mitchell said the other week it's, it's the hardest sport to master is MMA because you're doing all of the martial arts. It's you're mad that they do it though when they get paid like a fraction of what the MMA fight, uh, what the boxers get. That's what that's we had that discussion last time. We were, was it pa Paddy the Baddy was on twelve twelve thousand quid. Yeah, and then he says he's going to open a food bank and you know and all that stuff. It's like it's mad, isn't it? It's like you know, if you box, you probably would earn 
100 yeah. times that amount of money. Anyway. Crazy. So, well, well, yeah, go on. Oh, oh yeah, so ta- yeah, Jake Paul um, has reportedly, so uh, we'll say alleged so far, he has pumped some coins, but across five coins, he's made $2.2 million. And he made $1.5 million in particular off a coin called Stick Dicks, <laughs> which I think is like mental. <laughs> Anybody, anybody, anybody in the room buy any stick dicks? But this is the thing, isn't it? If you nope. are investing in something called stick dick because Logan Paul <laughs> has told you to, uh, sorry, Jake Paul has told you to, you deserve everything you get. <laughs> you, yeah, you have limited, limited sympathy for people. Like that. But the, the, at the same time, it's it's incumbent upon somebody in a, in, a, in a. I don't care who you are, but you, you, why would you want to mislead people for, the, for your own gain? Come on now, you know what I mean. Come on now. <laughs> Fucking, don't get me started, man. <laughs> well, I'll be yeah. able to get angry. So well, it was yummy that I know he's, but he's in a lot of trouble at the moment, isn't he? Because they're actually saying that it's been pumping and dumping. Uh, yeah, with the Federal Trade Commission. This yeah. is all alleged, by the way, in case everyone gets their panties in a twist. But uh, yeah, it, it goes, well, yeah. The, 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 the story goes that he, he'd get given, so stick dicks, whoever invented stick dicks, stick dicks, DM him. And here's like, a million dicks. Here's a million dicks. They were 20 cents. You yeah. do a tweet about it. And then sell it when it gets to two dollars, yeah. and that's what he was doing. And they sell it, it, and then everyone buys it. That's it the problem with crypto. Though, is it's not it's not regulated, is it? If you if you do that in in the tr- st- the stock market, the, the trading but, world, but you know they do do that. In yeah, the, of course in they the do. Stock yeah. Market, yeah. Right? but what I'm saying is, it's more. I think it's more. Um, people know that, don't they? People that know how to trade and they know about trading will will be aware of that, and that, that's a possibility, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In crypto, because so many people that don't even there are people that trade crypto and buy crypto, whatever, that wouldn't even. Trade a stock, which is far less risky. That's the yeah. whole thing about crypto. Is like it's appealing to people that are using the last two grand to try and be a Super become vulnerable. a millionaire. Yeah. When and and I don't know, man. You're gonna that, get me mad if we keep going on about it. That's <laughs> the wildest thing, though, isn't it? Because it's so like it's hot. It's a hot topic now. Yeah. I mean, it probably wasn't as hot when you were releasing those videos. No, there, were, there weren't as many what are called shit coins or alt yeah. coins, is what people call them. There weren't as many of those things about. Like even Ether was like. I was sort of questioning, like, oh, it's it's, it's kind of going to be like what Bitcoin is that Ethereum? Or... Yeah, 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 right, okay, uh, yeah, Ethereum. So at the time, I remember talking to someone saying, like, well, everyone's buying Bitcoin, and he was telling me, oh no, Ethereum's the thing because that's got an actual use, and there's people building stuff on blockchain using yeah. that technology, blah 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 blah. So he told me a, a pretty compelling argument to get involved in Ether, and he wasn't selling it to me. He was just a bloke that knew a lot more about it than me that I spoke to. And I said, like, I'm thinking of doing this. What do you think? And he told me out of the two, uh, Ether was the one to do. So, and that's why I did Ether. And that's where I made my money. I didn't even bother with Bitcoin at that point. Is Dogecoin, 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 is that still around? Dogecoin, yeah, they're all around, aren't they? But they just, whether they're worth that's anything or not. That's that got that's pumped. That's that got but here's a perfect example of how that, got pumped and dumped. So everyone was talking about how one tweet from Elon Musk and it goes through the roof. Yeah. And he was meant to be, well, it, I say meant to be, he actually did host Saturday Night Live, didn't he? And everybody thought the price was going to bump up after that um, episode. But everybody that bought it, they're called whales, aren't they, when they bought like the majority of the coin, flogged it to all those idiots that were chatting on their little um, Telegram or Discord yeah. or whatever they call it, Reddit groups. They get fucked. They always get fucked left holding the bag, which ironically, they think they're the most knowledgeable and know the most about these coins. They're the ones that actually get fucked the most because they're being fed bullshit. Yeah. So, so Liam, who worked, worked with us at the time, I remember when this happening, he was like, he, he'd bought do, do, Dogecoin. It's Doge, isn't it? Yeah. He'd bought it Why is back. it Doge if the logo is a dog? I don't know. Is I it, don't know. Is it just taking it? They need to think but let's be honest, it. they're it'd all morons, aren't they? He, he'd, yeah. he'd bought it way back yeah. when. So like, I think he put, let's say, 40 quid in and he had... 400 coins and as, as it were creeping up to like Elon Musk like it all started like chattering yeah. and I think he bought it uh, at the time let's say it was like 40 pence a coin he told me about it and he's like Elon Musk going to be on Saturday Night Live in like a fortnight and it's going to go to the moon that was like that's that's the the thing, that was the thing coins so to the moon it's 40 quid at the time then was worth I think it probably worth about 200 quid so I'm like fuck me you, you've already like tripled that money take your money out mate yeah I'm like pull your money or take all of it out and leave 40 quid still left in yeah, it yeah yeah so he told me about it and I thought, all right, what have you got to lose? Like I put 300 quid in that day and it went from, let's say 40p to 80p. So during that week, you can see it creeping up. So my, my 400 quid were up at like 800 quid at this point. I thought, fucking hell. So this is this Thursday. The Friday comes round, it's a thousand quid. So his 40 quid's now worth a thousand quid. And I'm like, mate, like pull it out. 
And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, we're just going to keep it in. We're going to ride it like it's, it's going to the moon. So I'm, I'm going, <laughs> mate, you're 40 quid to like a thousand quid. Like you don't earn a massive wage. You haven't got savings. You live in a flight in Leeds with your pal. Like just pull it out, like pull it out. And if, it, you know, you could put it in something else, just take the money, like take it and run. He's like, no, no, no. I said, all right. So Friday night, Saturday morning, and my four, 400 quid had gone to like 1500 quid. And I pulled it out. I was like, that's plenty for me. I was like, I, I'd have lost the 400 quid, but I'd made over a thousand pound on top of what I, I'd got. So I just pulled it all out. Sure as shit, it didn't even get to Elon Musk stepping on to Saturday Night Live, but <laughs> it had gone. Like it had dropped to, for, to nothing. Maybe so. you were the reason. When you pulled your 15, so like you were one out, of the whales. It collapsed. You're the guy. I'm one of the whales. Yeah. yeah. I was buzzing. I'm like, oh, I've made a thousand quid, but I didn't need the thousand quid. I didn't need, yeah. like, it didn't matter if I need, if I, you know, now it, it would be nice to have. But what, how this works then is so he's there and he's gone from 40 quid to 200 quid. Yeah. Then he's telling his mates, oh, you want to get in on this? So these people are then telling all their mates to get in on it. Yeah. And that's when the, when the whale fucking pulls the rug. It's all these people that haven't got a clue. And if someone in the pub is talking to you about a crypto to invest in and they don't know anything about investing or crypto, it's probably not a good idea is my sort of like advice. The moment, like I said, Colin or John is talking about it while he's eating his port scratchings, we've probably missed the boat for that thing. Or Absolutely. you're about to be the victim of whatever's going to happen next, essentially. It's very rare that you're going to get a unicorn at... 40 cents or whatever it might be and it go to a million like, oh yeah but that's what everyone seems to think the next coin they're investing is gonna is, is gonna happen it, it blows my mind